What's going on guys? I am back again with another video. It has been a while, but I am back. Um, this is going to be a 4K and Blu-ray collection update. I've got about 60 or so titles that I want to show you guys. Um, a bunch of boutique stuff, Criterion, Arrow, um, Imprint, some 4K stuff, some anime stuff that I was jumping into. So I'm going to jump right into this. Um, first up is the 4K release from Paramount Presents. This is the Sergio Leone film, Once Upon a Time in the West. It's got a nice slip cover on it. It's got some of the original poster art there that you can open up. Comes in a nice clear case. I've been watching a bunch of reviews on this. I'm hearing some positive stuff and negative stuff. Anytime you talk about transfers on great films like this, you get into the uh, grain and the DNR discussion and stuff like that. So I'm super excited to check this one out and see how it is for myself. Um, next up, uh, a few 4K titles. If you're into physical media, if you're into 4K, um, you've probably seen a ton of videos on these lately. Um, finally, we have The Abyss on 4K, along with Aliens and True Lies. A bunch of James Cameron films. Um, while I was on the uh, kick of picking up his stuff, I picked up the uh, new Avatar 4K set. This is the four-disc set with the, the multiple, it's the three versions of the film. Uh, Ten hours of bonus material. I just wanted to see all the differences with the different cuts. I know they're pretty minimal, but I wanted to have this set as well as Avatar The Way of the Water. Um, I'm working on a series. I've been doing a bunch of stuff with different directors like Stanley Kubrick and uh, Christopher Nolan, things along those lines. And I'm, the next one I'm doing is uh, James Cameron. And I wanted to get all his stuff. It's where we're talking about the film, complete filmographies on physical media, how you can get them, where you can find them, things like that. So I'm trying to complete uh, James Cameron's filmography. I went ahead and got Piranha 2, uh, The Spawning, and another aquatic-themed film by James Cameron. Did a little better in the theaters. Titanic on 4K. Speaking of Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer on 4K. All right. I also picked up the imprint release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like the limited edition. I don't know what they call it, limited edition or special edition. Is that, it comes, came with the art cards, postcard deck as well. Got the 4K Arrow release of Hugo. Looks amazing on 4K. Um, the Arrow 4K release of The Warriors. I absolutely love the artwork on this. Fantastic set as well. I recently got the imprint release of that as well. I don't have it there up there. I'm not going to jump and grab them, but the imprint release was pretty nice as well for the Warriors. I picked up 4Ks of Rebel Without a Cause and Cool Hand Luke as well. Let's jump into some Criterion stuff really quickly. Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets on 4K. Uh, the 4K of Wong Kar Wai's In the Mood for Love. Fantastic film on 4K. Breaking the Waves. This set I was super excited for. I can't wait to crack this open. Um, the Red Balloon on 4K. There's several other of his stories on here as well. I haven't watched this probably since kindergarten, but it's stuck with me since then, and I can't wait to revisit it because it's one of those things that I haven't seen since then. I'm super excited to check that out again. Uh, I also got the Three Colors Trilogy on 4K. I've heard tons of great things about this. Can't wait to check that out. I got the Neon Release 4K of Old Boy. Um, Akira Kurosawa's Ron Ran Ron on 4K. Um, this is being a big Star Wars fan. This is something that I feel like I saw advertisements or trailers or cuts, random advertisements for this for I don't know a decade. I was super excited that it was finally out um, on Blu-ray. Um, it's 525.77. Super enjoyable. Not, not the greatest film, but it was nice to actually have it after waiting for like a decade. Uh, lots of Star Wars lore and filmmaking stuff in it. Just enjoyed it. All right. Um, Warner Archive release. Warner Archive release of My Blue Heaven Blu-ray. All right. 
I've never watched Doctor Who. I've been wanting to jump into it for God knows how long. Didn't know where to start. Anytime I try to research, try to figure out something, where I should start, I just feel like I get more and more confused. So I figured it was time just to jump in, uh, pick a doctor that I thought seemed cool, start there. So I went with Tom Baker. Hopefully any of you Doctor Who fans or experts can tell me if I made the right choice, the wrong choice with this one. But Tom Baker, complete season one, six disc set. I'm probably going to pop this in right when I get done with this video. Super excited to check it out. Hopefully I enjoy that. Um, next up is Four Rooms. Um, Quint Tarantino directed one of the parts of this. I've never seen it. Wanted to add that to complete my Quint Tarantino filmography. All right. Uh, next up, the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of David Bowie's The Man Who Fell to Earth. I believe I had the Criterion release back in the day and I ended up getting rid of that, I don't know, 15 years ago or so and kind of regretted it, but excited to have that on 4K. Um, next up is Scream 6 on 4K. This is the Steel Book. I really enjoy the artwork on here. I'm very curious to see what they do with the franchise moving forward, starting with Part 7. Uh, next up is a Vacation on 4K. Chevy Chase, classic comedy, can't beat it. Um, the Mario movie on 4K as well. All right. Oh, one of my favorite movies from last year, The Iron Claw, um, the A24 film about the Von Erich family. Fantastic. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, super great movie. Zac Efron did a great job. Um, Jeremy Allen White was awesome as Carrie Von Erich. Um, I went and checked out after watching this movie. I wanted to see more stuff that he was in, so I checked out the show The Bear. Uh, it's a cooking show where he's like a chef. Um, fantastic. I binged that in like a day and a half. Great stuff. Great movie. Definitely worth checking out, whether you're a wrestling fan or not. All right. Before I jump into the, I've got, I don't know, probably about 40 anime titles, stuff that I felt like I've been missing out on that I wanted to check out. Um, I've got a couple more other titles and then we'll get right into that. Um, I think it, this was a sale from Best Buy right before they started getting out of it, um, physical media completely. Um, they were super cheap for these 4K, so I had to snag them up. Um, the Michael Van film Heat, got Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, uh, Al Pacino, can't beat it, uh, Alita Battle Angel on 4K as well, Ad Astra, Brad Pitt, I went ahead and picked up Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, the complete series, this is one of those ones that I was debating for years, I kept putting it off and putting it off, I love Hanna-Barbera stuff, but never picked it up, I was gonna go with the nicer, bigger box set, but I'm trying to be a little more cognizant of space with as many titles as I have now. I'm trying to keep an eye on. But as soon as I got this and I saw it was like the slimline case, I'm like, oh man, I should have, I should have gotten the other set. Anyway, next up I got uh, the Twilight Zone season two and three as well. All right, let's jump into some of these anime titles. There's a ton of anime that I like, but. Growing up, like, I feel like I missed a ton of the good stuff. And, like, I just, it was one of those things with having a decent knowledge of film and TV that it was, like, just this gray area of stuff that I was missing. So there's a lot of the big titles that I wanted to try to knock off the list and watch. So I started with Bleach. I thought that was a big enough title that I should definitely check out. So I went ahead and got Bleach. There's Volume 1. Volume 2. And all these are nice Blu-ray cases. They come, um saran wrap saran wrap plastic wrapped in their actual with their slip case on um they're very nice artwork printed well uh here is set three i'm super excited to check this series out i know absolutely nothing about it volume four volume five volume six on blu-ray as well seven eight nine, 10. The company that I bought this from, they sent me 11 with no slip case, opened it up, it's not sealed and no disc inside. So I had to get a replacement for 11 and it's not here yet. So I thought that was funny. I don't know how that happened. I guess someone returned it and they just didn't check the uh, package, but uh, part 12 or box set 12. And 13. And I went ahead and picked up the four film collection as well. I also picked up another one that I thought that I was missing that I wanted to check out that I've never seen. 
was the Naruto series. So Naruto volume one, or set one, set two, set three, set four, set five, set six, seven, eight, all right, and that was set eight, and then uh, Shippuden, I guess is the follow-up series, uh, set one and two, and I believe three either comes out today or next week, either came out this week or next week, I need to pick that up as well, so excited to check out those, and then I also went with Inu Inuyasha, uh, hopefully I didn't screw that up too bad, I heard these look fantastic on Blu-ray, like the first like 40 episodes or something like that were shot on film, so the restoration looked fantastic. That's what I've heard. I'll have to judge for myself after I see it. But volume one, volume two, and you also volume three, four, five, six. Um, the final act, the complete series. And then the complete collection, this is the of the movies. It's a two-disc set, and I believe there's four films on there. So I believe that's everything that's available currently on Blu-ray for Bleach, Naruto, and Inuyasha. Um, if I'm missing something, please let me know. If there's something that you can recommend, please let me know. Um, any advice helps with that, also with Doctor Who. Um, I also picked up a couple other titles just to finish the other set that I had. Um, I tried to get um, put together the complete set of Sailor Moon a couple years back, and then I missed a couple of the sets. So I went back and got a few of those. I was trying to do part one. They have like the limited edition and then the regular edition. So I wanted to do limited edition of part one and then regular edition, obviously, of part two so that you could uh, put them in the box because there's a space to store part two. So Sailor Moon part one, uh, limited edition. And then if you can see, I'm sure you're probably familiar, but there's a blank space so you can put volume two in there. And then I needed season three, limited edition as well. And then I needed, this is season four, part two. So I already have the big air boxes. I think you can see them right there. On, right there. Um, so the last one I needed was season four, part two, to go in the bigger box. So I'm happy with that. I feel like I caught up a little bit on that stuff. If there's anything that you guys can recommend, please let me know um, any recommendation recommendations are greatly appreciated also again i've been working on a series where we go in depth on big directors steven spielberg alfred hitchcock stanley kubrick martin scorsese um brian de palma working on these it's very time consuming but i'm trying to get them all ready to, so that i can release them in order for you guys and if there's any other directors that you'd like to see the in-depth jump into all of their um, complete filmography um the blu-ray releases where you can find them just trying to be a guide for um, starters, people who are getting into physical media for the first time or people who are fans of a director and they just don't know exactly where to go for it. So I'm just trying to create a user-friendly guide in these videos that help people. So if you have any recommendations for that as well, please let me know. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.